Hi there, it's Danny here from Our Humble Home and in today's video I'll be doing an instant DIY furniture transfer using just a print on copy paper, normal copy paper and with a special product from Kmart, a cheap product. Um, I did find the basic idea for this online and I did not think it would work because the design that they used was from an inch inkjet printer and this is only a laser printer and I thought I'll try it anyway because I'd brought the actual medium and the secret ingredient here actually is the Kmart Anko brand matte medium and it is what I will be applying to the coaster and to the actual print itself and I just apply this very very lightly you don't need too much and normally I just have applied it in the past onto one or the other either the the wood or, or the actual paper design I don't think you really need to put it on both and then I will stick it down onto the coaster now I've always wanted to find a way of doing cheap furniture transfers because I do a lot of upcycles and makeovers. If you haven't seen my videos, um, if you have, you will know what I do. And I do like decals and I do like stencils, that sort of thing that I use on the Cricut. But, you know, to be honest, this, this is so much cheaper, so much easier. It's actually crazy, you know, that this actually works um, because transfers you know can be quite expensive and for an A4 size I have bought one before um, off eBay and it was $18 for an A4 size print so for an A4 size color print on just a plain piece of paper at Officeworks that would be on a laser printer it costs me 49 cents if I'm doing a black and white transfer it would only cost me 8 cents I do have a printer but we don't have any ink for it but to be honest I think it's cheaper just to you know go to Officeworks and get them printed out they're great quality and you're not spending all that money on print on the ink the ink doesn't go very far either so what I do actually when I've placed it on I wait for five minutes and I've even waited less time than that I've waited about three minutes and it's been fine as well and then I will dampen the paper and I will start gently rubbing I will rub off try to just rub off layers at a time so don't sort of push down deep and try to rub it all off at once because you may be in danger then of pushing off the actual design this matte medium is actually a great idea because I Originally I tried it with the, not the um, Mod Podge, but I did try it with the PVA glue, which it worked too. The problem with that is you've got to wait 24 hours for that to even dry, at least 24 hours. And, and that's quite annoying <laughs> if you want to finish a project quickly. This you wait, you, you rub it on and you wait five minutes literally, and then it's ready to rub off and it it is really like magic to be honest with you I've got a video of a furniture makeover where I'm doing this process as well and that will be up probably in another week or so but this is just on little Kmart craft placemats and these sorry coasters and these coasters were what were they they were three dollars for a pack of 16 coasters so you can make a lot of little coasters this way so now I'm just going to lightly sand and this is a very fine sanding block that I use for a lot of things and I got this at Bunnings they have fine medium coarse I'm just doing this because it actually just makes the surface ultra smooth and will get rid of any little lumpy bits of paper that may be left behind from the rubbing and I grab my glitz beeswax and I apply this to the surface for two reasons you'll see in a minute what it does to the actual design it will bring it to life and it will make it make the colors bright it will just make it look like it's meant to be and like it was originally before I actually um, put it put the glue on it and put it on the coaster another reason is to protect the surface too I guess if you're using it as a coaster um, it's going to protect the surface as well and it just just yeah I think it's just like magic it's so so pretty and at first I thought, well, how does this work? Is it just the paper that's stuck to it? Won't that come off? But I actually, when I did one previously, and I will actually put the footage I have of it up, I was scratching at 
at it at the design it just doesn't come off it's stuck securely so I think the ink may even go into the actual surface of the piece which is amazing um, yeah so that is how I do it I'll be doing it on some furniture makeovers that are coming up in the next few weeks so I hope you stay tuned for that in the meantime give it a go and let me know what you think below have a great week and I'll see you next time bye for now